Here is a Soundgear SGCCR AM FM alarm clock radio with a multicolor display. A multicolor digital display. Digital, 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 digital. I don't know where I got this. I got it many years ago. I had to get it because it had colored, uh, you know, segments in the in the in the in the clock there. Uh, it, it's a cheap Chinese brand. This has been here probably pushing ten years. Probably pushing ten years. Uh, I loved it because of the multicolor display. That was really the main 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 thing, and I had to had to had to have it. Uh, it's a cheap Chinese brand. That's really it. You have on, off, auto, or alarm for the radio and alarm function. AM, FM selector there. Here is, and I'm sorry I just don't have any lighting in this area. This is the actual tuning over here. And uh, it's pretty much good luck. <laughs> As you turn the dial... Over here, you can see everything move, and you can get a very, very rough approximation of where you are. Top has a sleep button, which is for the radio, alarm set, or to turn it off, which would then repeat the next day, hour and minute, your time set button, snooze. The volume control, tuning AM and FM, as I said before. Um, here's the information. I'll flip the video over. And it says designed in USA. And over here is the actual data on it. Along with a dimmer control, there is a battery compartment here. I'll see if I can open it with one hand. There we are. I'll just leave it off for now. It takes a 9-volt battery, which I am happy to see. I would normally take this out and do a proper video of it, but the wire like goes back in here and down and somewhere in there, you know, where I can't get to it. So that's why I'm doing it here. And it also actually has a wire for the FM reception coming out of it. So the time is already set. Let's try the radio and then we'll see if we could set the alarm. Put it on FM. That's good. Turn it to on. Let's we'll see if we could tune anything in. What a talk. Very tinny. And that's it. It's there's no real reception down here. That's about the best I can get. Horribly tinny. Awful sound. Turn it down a bit, it's maybe a little better. I'll hold the antenna. Mario Lopez is still a thing, really? Alright. Volume can go all the way down. That's as loud as it goes. Yeah, pretty good quality stuff. So, I don't know. I'm not even going to bother with AM because we're not going to pick anything up either. I'll try to set the alarm and we'll see what that sounds like and we'll go from there. Before anybody asks, the last digit all the way on the left is red you know it would have been cooler if it were blue but the colon is blue blah 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 
So that's it. Okay, I have it all set. I have it down to alarm. Over there, the auto light is on for whatever that means, and we'll just wait for the time to roll over to the next minute. Oh yeah. I think you can adjust the volume of that. Nope. Even with it all the way down, it just is on the alarm. And if you go to auto, I guess it cancels it. Back to the radio and that. It's it's a piece of crap. I got it because of the multicolor digital display. That was it. And one last thing is the dimmer. It is actually on the low setting. And it brightens up considerably. Uh, the camera is sort of overdriving the blue LEDs. You know, which it also used for the PM and the auto indicators. So I, I did actually like that. That they sort of had a nice spread of color, if you will, in this one. That, that's why I really liked it. Um... The camera is overdriving the blue LEDs. Uh, they're not that bright. They're pretty damn bright, but not that that bright. But even on the low setting, it's perfectly fine. I have a light here I'll shut because I have no other light. And that's what it looks like normally. It normally sits, you know, right up over here. So I'll put it back there and show that to you, and that's it. And that's where it sits right next to the PC convertible clock. I had a video on this many, many years ago. In case anybody wants a revisit of that, I'd be happy to do it. Just uh, let me know in the comments. There we are. But yeah, that's where it sits. It's perfectly readable. Even sitting at the bar, it's certainly readable. No problem. And that's on the dim setting. We'll try it on the bright setting just for fun. There we are. Yeah, maybe a little more readable, but it, it's kind of like too bright. If that were on a nightstand, that would definitely be too bright. That yellow is screaming from here. The blue, interestingly enough, doesn't look that bad. But, yep, that's it. The Sound Gear SG CCR Multicolor Digital Display Clock Radio Alarm. Thank you for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.